Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So before we start, I just wanted to let you know that I still have my bandage on. Pretty much what happened was I hit my head into a clothing rack at work and then my glasses shattered, broke, fell in my eye, cut my face. I went to the emergency room. It sounds really dramatic, but it really isn't that big of a deal. I got all the glass out. We're all good. Um, now I just have a big cut on my face. So that's what this bandage is doing here so that you guys know. I got a lot of messages saying, I hope you feel better. I hope you get well soon. So thank you if that was you and you messaged me. I really, really, really appreciated it. That's partially why I made that like how to feel better during fall video. So if you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link down below because I really enjoyed it. I also know that you guys really enjoyed it. So if you want a couple of tips on how to feel better during fall, maybe you're feeling sick, maybe you're not feeling so great just emotionally, mentally, um, that video was really for somebody out there that was feeling like that. Actually, I got so many comments and suggestions about doing more outfit videos. So today I actually thought, you know what, since fall is here, today is so, so windy. Actually, the wind was what woke me up this morning because it was so loud. Um, I just thought, you know what, let's do a video about how to style sweaters during fall and the different types of sweaters that are out there um, and maybe some that you can look out for. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe down below. I make new videos every Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And on my lips, I've got the Marc Jacobs Eau Coco Lip Liner as well as the nudist lip liner all over my lips and then I have the dose of colors Desi X Katie collection over the top lip gloss um, my top is from Zara seasons and seasons ago but I'm sure that something like this is out there so I'll try to find something similar I'm just wearing my Levi's um, trusty Levi's wedgie fit jeans and I think that's everything on my face and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's just get straight into it. Sweaters are a must have for me during the fall season. It's a great layering piece. It's a great over the top piece, but sweaters, like when you think of sweaters, there are so many different out there on the market. You've got turtleneck sweaters, one shoulder sweaters, like I'm wearing today, off the shoulder sweaters, really ca like cowl neck sweaters. You've got cropped sweaters. There's so many out there that honestly, it's hard to keep track. So I kind of looked through my wardrobe and pulled the ones that I feel like a lot of people have. A couple of different styles that I feel like come back every season. So the first sweater I want to talk about today are turtleneck sweaters. So the one that I'm wearing here, I'm featuring it in my favorite way. This one here is really thin. It's a great layering piece. I love styling it with like lace camis over because I feel like you're able to show off a little bit more fashion and a little bit more like lingerie and sexiness if that's what you're looking for by layering the piece over the sweater. I also like to style up turtleneck sweaters with wide leg pants, jeans, skirts. There's so many different ways that you can style it in terms of bottoms, but I feel like if you haven't tried out that cami style um, look, then definitely try this out. Wherever you shop, definitely look at their laundry section. You'll be surprised as to what pieces you can find. The second sweater is a sweater dress. Now I've seen this since Gossip Girl, honestly, like in 2008, sweater dresses, tunics, they were a thing. Um, you've got that kind of chunky, neck area, but then you've got like a long dress-like look. So sweater dresses come in so many different styles. You have like flared dresses, you've got more fitted bodies, you've got totally A-line. So there's a lot of different styles, but the one I'm showing you here is actually by the Morona brand from Target. Um, this was in a size large and I got this two years ago. So I'll try to find something really similar down below. I've mentioned this in the past, but being a YouTuber is kind of an expensive hobby. Let's be honest. Everybody says like, you don't need money, but I just don't have money to always be spending on new clothes all the time. I'm really fortunate to be sent a lot of new clothes by companies, but I'm just not gonna really go out of my way to buy a lot of stuff unless I absolutely love it and I think you guys need it. So with that out of the way, um, yeah, it's this, this uh, sweater dress by Target, I love so much. It's so cozy and it's actually one of the best things I've ever purchased because you can hide a lot of layers underneath, but also being super warm and cozy in the fall and winter time. So the next piece that I wanted to talk about is like a graphic cropped sweater. Um, now I wouldn't call this a sweater necessarily, but 
didn't, I wanted to feature in this video because I feel like a lot of companies these days are coming out with like these graphic Gucci inspired um, cropped numbers. Like I said, you can style this sweater with a pair of leather leggings, high-waisted jeans, a skirt, a checkered skirt. I think graphic sweaters look so good with checkered prints. So next I want to talk about this sweater here. Now this one I know definitely is coming back for this fall. It's the one with the pearls. My dog keeps barking. I already saw something similar at Zara and then I saw something really similar at H&M. So I will leave a link to those two down below. But this one here is from Zara and I just paired this with a pair of checkered trousers. I know that honestly with all of these sweaters you can easily pair them with a pair of high-waisted jeans and call it a day. But I just want to show you that a pair of like dress pants and work pants are really great alternatives to just wearing jeans all the time. It gives your look a little bit more of a polished, elevated look and feel to it. I love this look a lot and I liked the pairing with like the pointed um, slingback heel, which is also really popular these days, super on trend. This cropped sweater my mom got for me in Korea and I feel like it is a little too small for me, let's be honest. But I just wanted to show you that like a super cropped number, I don't know what they're called, but they literally just go right across the top of your breast. Um, so I thought that was kind of a cute look with this sweater. You can also wear this cropped sweater with like um, a, a button up dress or like anything that's buttoned up, kind of that tuxedo look. I find that it's really cute. So if you have like a shirt dress or a shirt underneath it with buttons over it and then you wear that sweater on top, it's a really cute look. I also have this slit H&M sweater that I got a while back. It was actually on sale and honestly, I find like the best sweaters on sale at H&M. It's crazy. You guys should definitely check out the sale sections. I got this H&M sweater. It's slit on the side. I thought it'd be really cute with a pair of biker shorts, to be honest, but I thought for this video, like if you wanted to wear it out and make it look a little bit more like dressed up, I thought that a pair of sleek, tight leather leggings would look really, really cute with kind of that opened um, slit cut side sweater. What am I even trying to say? Um, but I felt like that would look really, really cute. Now I've worn this sweater tons and tons of times. I've worn it with sweats before. I've also worn them out like to meet with friends and stuff. So um, I really love this sweater, but yeah, I think that the slit look is definitely always here. It comes back every year. It's just really flattering to be honest. And you can kind of cover up your stomach if you're going out to eat anywhere like Thanksgiving dinner. This is a really great piece. Now there are a lot of different types of sweaters that are out there on the market. Like I said, um, I barely just scratched the surface with the sweaters that I have. Um, I went to H&M recently and I tried on all of these different sweaters too. And to be honest, it's really hard to find some that are cropped enough that aren't super like long and drapey um, but also have a really good fit on the sleeve that aren't too short. If you guys have any sweater recommendations that you're like this is my go-to sweater, I won't change my mind, it's perfect for fall, really great, not too thick, not too thin, then please leave them down below so that we can all share that great information. But yeah, that's everything I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you learned something new, hit that thumbs up button. Turn on your post notifications with me so that you get notified every time I upload. And watch out for my Wednesday's video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Bye!